My name is Carrie Lacey. I'm an artist and a filmmaker. I do a lot of freelance work. Under my insurance, birth control is completely covered because it's a preventative service, um, but I'm worried that won't last too much longer. I have an IUD, the Mirena IUD, which has completely changed my life. It's alleviated terrible menstrual pain that I was dealing with that was highly irregular. I'm worried that I'm in danger of losing my health insurance under the new administration. We're seeing a lot of women coming in deliberating over what to do about their birth control options in the coming years because, you know, right now birth control is covered as a preventive medicine, but we expect to lose that shortly. So women are coming in and having these very difficult decisions with us. Something else that I'm worried about is if I do get it replaced and then I lose my health insurance, which is through Obamacare, that I won't be able to um, get it removed or how much that would cost me if in the event that I decided I did want to get pregnant within the next four years, um, then that would be another issue. So it's just really an unfair situation for women right now when it comes to contraception. My name is Gustavo Rivera. I'm a state senator for the 33rd District in the Northwest Bronx. I'm also the ranking member in the Health Committee in the Senate. And the New York Health Act is about providing access to everyone, providing access to as many people as possible, to as many services as possible. And since reproductive women's health is one of the basic things that women need access to, this is the way to, to make sure that that happens. The New York Health Act would be fabulous for me and for my patients. We could be assured that they could have the birth control that they need and want and not have to worry about whether they're going to make it through the next four years. Because I would love to continue to have birth control and also freedom from this pain. Because ultimately, if we do not do this at the state level, the impact that the federal actions are going to have on the health of New Yorkers is, is just incredibly negative. So we have to make sure that we get it done. But to do it, we have to get more state senators on it, and that's why I would ask every New Yorker to figure out who their representative is and go ask him or her, why are you not a supporter of the New York Health Act?